But of course, you want to know also about my writing journey. And the thing is, I didn't start writing until I was 41. So mm. I think there's a message in there that is never too late. You're never too old. And before I actually started my journey as a writer, as a solopreneur, I was a hardcore businesswoman in the corporate ladder, climbing the ladder. I worked for big companies, Apple, Estee Lauder. I had a big, big job, big title, all these things in uh, Asia mostly. And then I realized during the pandemic that none of that really fulfilled me, that none of that really mattered, that I was maybe climbing the wrong ladder. And I think just like for many people, the period during COVID was a big moment of reflection and to think about what really matters to you, what makes you happy. And, uh, you know, when you look at the mirror at the end of the day, what do you see? And uh, for me, that was like a big, big transformational moment. And I decided back then that I was going to do something really different. Just to give a little bit of context, during that period of uh, pandemic and all of that, I was locked abroad of my country. And so I ended up living in Australia, which is the ninth country that I don't mention before. And I wasn't able to find a job. I was looking for jobs. I, I had a lot of rejection. And uh, for me, that was the moment. That was the moment when I realized that uh, I had everything in me to be successful. If people didn't see the value in me, then I had to find a different place or build that place myself. And that's when I started writing. That's when I started becoming a public speaker. And it was all very organic. I didn't have a master plan. But what I did have was a dream and the passion for communicating and for helping people. And I let all of that evolve into what, what it is today. Awesome. That's incredible. And even just, even just listening to you now, it's so obvious that you're a gifted public speaker. Like you're just able to explain that so eloquently. So that's incredible. Like um, you've been, you've been all over the world and you've, you traveled so extensively. And um, what was it like going from being, as you say, like someone who climbed the corporate ladder was involved in that world to the kind of world you're in now. Like what's, how, how does that feel differently to you as a person? It feels very different in many different ways. I think first, when you're working for someone else, you don't get the same level of fulfillment. And what I mean by this is $100 or $10,000 in the corporate world is one thing. A tenth of that when you're a solopreneur actually feels much better. And to be very transparent, I do earn much less now than I did in the corporate world, but I love what I do. I'm just spending now two months of the, the year with my daughters in Spain, with my family. I have the freedom to write and do public speaking from wherever I want. So I think having that fulfillment is one thing. Having that freedom, I used to really struggle to get 10 days off and I really had to be aligned with the business and check with my boss and all of that. And now my, my two little bosses are my daughters. I have to make sure that uh, they're okay. They're on board with uh, with what we're going to do. So that's one thing. The The other thing is it's quite um, it's quite intimidating and it's, and it's a bit scary, to be honest, not knowing how much you're going to make at the end of the month, not knowing if next month you're going to be doing better or you're going to be doing worse. So not having that predictability is something that is very scary. But at the same time, it gives you so much ownership. It's like, this is my boat and I better make sure that the boat moves. So I think that's also very scary, empowering at the same time. So I'd say that these are the, the main things, like that, that feeling of fulfillment, the freedom, and the ownership that comes also with the responsibility. Yeah. No, I totally, I'm totally on board with that. Um, I, I've been the same, like I've worked for other people over the years, probably not climbing a corporate ladder, but certainly not being my own boss. Um, but since 2018, I have been, and the difference is incredible just in terms of how you can live your life and make your own decisions and nobody's going to uh, dampen down your creativity. Um, if you want to go for something, you can just do it. And as you say, the rewards financially aren't as big sometimes, but they mean so much more. Um, especially whenever you've you've achieved them yourself. So I totally get where you're coming from <laughs> with all that. That I'm definitely on board with that. 